Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So, it's that time again. Time for another episode of The Hunt for Aegon. We're going to try and pull an Aegon out of these crystals once again. Alright, so you can see we already have two. But before we get started with those guys, let's warm it up a little bit open up some Grandmaster Crystals. Now, we've gotten some uh, good champions, surprisingly enough, out of these crystals. For a long time, we got nothing but three stars. And I jokingly called these my three star crystals because that's all I seem to get from them. On occasion, I would get a four star here and there. But I think to date, we have gotten two five stars out of this don't quote me on that but i believe it was two five stars all right can we get a third five star and we've got we got ooh, one over and it would have been that killmonger oh i would have taken that um i have him but i would have taken that dupe all right at least it wasn't a three star i'm good with that all right so let's see what we got. Let it spin for a little bit. Warm this thing up. So when we open up those mutant and skill crystals, it'll be ready, primed, pumped. All right. All right, you're taking too long. Tap that. I saw a lot of five stars over there waving at me. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ooh, they like to tease, don't they? Five star, both times, peeking at us, off to the right. Okay, but that's all right, prime, prime. Every time I get a four star, it's five star shards. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and grab those two that I purchased the last time Mutant and Skill uh, came about. I was gonna do a opening, but then I ended up getting busy doing other stuff. And here we are again, and I can buy some more. All right, so before we get started, let me pop this up here. All right, so those are the champions that I want out of this crystal, okay? So let's go ahead and spin it. And so that I don't forget, boom, there's our dupe counter. Now, our dupe counter, it... It's not, you can't use the dupe counter just to say how many times I've tried for Aegon because I've also opened up uh, a couple of the other dual class crystals. So it's not a true representation of how many of these I've opened and duped, but it's close. It's very, very close. It might be off by, um, I think maybe two or three, uh, but yeah, I can go back uh, and I may do that and have a accurate count of how many we have opened up. All right, I see you. I see you, Omega Red. Wow. Play. That is a Max Sig. Back in the day, I opened up, I think, seven or eight of his crystals. It was the first and last time... Um, I opened up those type of crystals. Actually, that's not true because he did come back and I opened up a few of them, but not that many. And I never got him out of his crystals. The ones that had the high chance to get him, never pulled him. The only time I pulled him was out of basics. And that was it. And I took him all the way up as soon as I could. Uh, he's still a great champion. You know, he might be a little bit dated, but just recently, uh, I was doing the Cavalier difficulty, and they had that magic at the end with the Chaos Inversion, reverse controls for your specials. Blade was my MVP. Quake also rocks that, uh, that one. Okay, let's see. Oh, I swear if I had gotten another Blade. But Havoc is also Max Sig. So we've got two max signature ability crystals and we'll open those up at the end 
Maybe we'll get something good out of them. All right, so two Max Sig dupes, but six star shards. So let's go ahead and grab one. And let's, uh, whoop, it did not want to go. Y'all saw that, right? It did not want to stay in there. All right, so we're going to do it one at a time because, hey, if we get an Aegon, we can save some shards. Uh, although, I would still love to get an Omega Red or a Namor, so it wouldn't be a waste until I had all three of those champions. However, if I pull an Aegon, I probably will switch over and start opening up the Mystic ones, Mystic and Science, I believe, because I have more that I can get out of those. But we're going to try and get this Aegon. Um, I need this Aegon to progress. So kabam, what you got for me? Come on, come on. I don't even see him. And Iceman, not going to help me out. Uh, and just so that you guys know, I have... I believe pretty much every champion in this uh, these crystals, except for those three. Now I could be wrong. Um, I may be uh, missing some. I need to look through that. Um, I saw Black Widow Deadly Origins, and uh, I just recently pulled her, so that would be a dupe, which I would not mind at all. Storm Pyramid X, I have. Um, well. It's shifting around. Um, yeah, I have uh, Storm Pyramid X. I, I do have Mole Man. I do have Sunspot. I have Squirrel Girl. All right, so let's go ahead and open up another one of these. And let me see if I see anybody that I don't have in the reel that uh, I wasn't thinking about. Uh, so far, I do not see anyone in the reel that I do not already have, except for, I see an Omega Red there, and I would take him right on up if I got him. Um, Black Widow, <clears throat> Deadly Origins, uh, she would be great to dupe, so I would not mind that dupe. Not that I really want it, but I wouldn't mind that dupe. Um, same thing with uh, Killmonger, wouldn't mind the dupe on him. Um, I see Namor, don't have a Namor. Uh, and of course, I see uh, Aegon. All right, slowing down on its own. What we got? Anybody? Anybody? That ain't the one that we want. Um, I believe is she gonna be getting? I'm not sure if she's gonna be getting a rework. I know she has. Oh, we awakened her. First time awakening is not bad. I'll take that. Um, with the apocalypse synergy, she's actually. A beast when she becomes a horseman she's actually pretty good um, I don't have her ranked up but I'll take that a first time awakening not a bad thing I wasn't gonna use a gem on her all right last crystal and let's see can we finally get an Aegon or an Omega Red or a Namor any one of those three and I would be happy uh, because all three of them are rank five worthy. And I've got a lot of sig stones for a change. Kabam has been increasing the number of sig stones that we get. So I have been overflowing with sig stones. So I can max out whoever I get. So I'm looking forward to that. I had to check over here and make sure I was recording. If you guys saw my last one, you know why I did that. All right. Had to make sure. And yes. I am recording. Um, I learned my lesson on that one. All right. Last one. Come on. Somebody good. Give me somebody good. Anybody good. You know, I am really tired of pulling her. I, I swear I'm tired. Let's see what her sig is. That's all natural, guys. I was happy to pull her the first time. And then I just kept pulling her. I think when I opened up the featured crystals... I think that's all I've gotten out of the feature crystals is her. And now I've gotten her again. Come on, come on. I need Aegon. She's not going to help me. She's not going to help me in the Abyss. I need Aegon. I don't like Aegon. I don't like the Abyss. 
but I need to do it so that I can get my prestige up. So the hunt continues once more. I will be so happy not to open up these crystals. I swear, if I pull an Aegon, I'm probably going to switch over and not open these crystals up for a while. Okay? Um, but that's five crystals. Five dupes. Five misses for Aegon. It's getting old. So, I may take a break from these crystals and open up the Mystic Science. Even if I pull Doom, I can max him out, right? But he will improve my prestige, but not dramatically. Uh, I still won't have the prestige that uh, most of my alliance has currently. So I really need to be focusing on six stars, getting them to rank three. In order to get the catalyst, um, I'm going to get one from exploring Act 6, but the others, they're coming in slowly in fragments, but I need to do the Abyss so that I can rank them up. And I have some good champions to take to rank three as six stars. I need the resources. And for that, I need Aegon because I'm not going into the Abyss without Aegon. Um, I wish that I had gone for him in the arena. High as he was, uh, if he comes around again, which he probably won't, but if he came around again, I'm going for him and I will spend units. I will boost and refresh uh, to get Aegon if he came to the arena again. All uh, right. We almost forgot to open these guys up. So we're going to open up both of these max signature ability crystals. And who knows? Maybe we'll get an Aegon. All right. So let's go ahead and open them up. Pretty sure I know what I am going to get. Um, but you never know. You never know. All right. So we'll spin it out. Uh, we're not going to drag this out, really. Um, there's no real... So, uh, more than likely, I'm going to get these six-star shards. Don't mind them. I need them. Give me my next six-star, all right? So, what do we got? It's Immortal Iron Fist. No. Just shards. Uh, so, but we know this one. This one, we got it. We got them. We're going to get them. All right? And let's see. We got him. He's peeking around. And it's Immortal Iron Fist. No shot. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.